Ya.
especially if you are a dominion child, but if you would like to visit mm. the service, yes. it is a long weekend. <laughs> yes. So you can book yourself into a guest house in Marshall Bay, yes. spend three days there, three nights, mm -hmm. and you will be able to join us for that service. May. Yes. If you would like to do that, if you are outside of Marshall Bay, a pastor is measure and you can ask her to assist with booking some accommodation for you. The contact number for Pastor Ignatia is 063-69118. And then in the month of May, starting on the 8th of May, Apostle Topa will be visiting Temalitu yes. for the very first time. First time. The very first time. So the service will be held at the place of worship, which is in Zone 9, 5, 6, 5, 9 is the address in Zone 9 in Tembaletu. And the service on the 8th of May will start at 5 o'clock oh. in the afternoon. And later in that same week, after the 8th, there will be a day on the 12th, the 13th, and the 15th of May. The mm -hmm. theme for that conference is crossing the line. Crossing the line. Crossing <laughs> the line. Anyone who would like to be part of the, the services for the three-day conference, please speak to Pastor Zuki Boyce at 083-941-6805. She will be able to give you more information about the service. And one thing about that service of the 8th of May, Anyone who wants to come to that service on the 8th of May are invited to bring their own bottle of water. Yes. It will be a water service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please, bring from your home, pull from your tap, yes. a bottle, not a big one, a small a one, small one a 500 ml one. Yes. Bring it from your home to the service with you. You will not be given water at the service. No. You bring your own. And Apostle will manifest power using that liquid that you will be bringing from your own home. Hallelujah. I, I believe that the announcement is clear. Actually, according to the Zayla. The announcement is clear. The according to the Zayla. For any other information. For any other information. Then call the church office. Now the chat and put a number 084 
done. Thank you, this for done. In Jesus' precious name. Goes about it, not from Jesus. And somebody there say amen. One dollar say amen. 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 Okay, let's get the word. Come on, the word. We have been teaching on the subject. We have been saying. Your mouth, your mouth, and your success. In your success. We speak about that. And this is what we're going to do. And today we're going to talk about the power of the power. We said in Joshua chapter number one and Joshua was the end and verse number eight. Verse eight. The Bible then speaking says. The Bible from here in Sedan. This book of the law. Hiri book van die wet. Shall not depart from out of your mouth. Moet nie uit jou mond gaan. But you should meditate day in and night. Maar nie meer dag en nacht. And therein shall find good success. In dal and shall be in good success. I'm sorry before I want to just give you. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Day on it, day and night, so that you may be careful to do what you need to eat. You will be prosperous and successful. Okay. So last week. So to be real, yeah. We stopped somewhere. It was it. We said, spiritual reaction into the physical, by the force of your word, is what makes it possible. So your mouth is involved when it comes to Om jou toekomst bestem en om te swaai. Amen. Sal spaarder wees. Jou mouth, jou mond, is open. Is betrokke. When it comes to turning your destiny around. As het kom by die omswaai van jou toekomst bestem. Our spiritual reality. Ons geestelike realiteit. Into the physical. Tot in die vir. Is only made possible. Word slechts moeilijk gemaakt. By the force of our word. Dier die kracht van ons woorde. The right words. Die rechte woorde. Not just any word. Nie met die enige woord nie. But the right word. Maar die rechte woord. And then we, we, last we read numbers chapter 13, what we put it tonight. Ons het in twee nummer in hoofdstuk 13 gelees. From verse 26. And God can speak to a great carrier. In this instance, God spoke to his servant to go and spy the land. So they went with the instruction of God's servant. So well, they came up with bad reports. So God is going to speak to you. So God can tell you something. Or word. Or through a grace cabin. Or dear. That's why it is important. This one on this belongs to us. Grace cabin. That is word of an open nada drum. It's not taken lightly. Let me let me let me open it. Let me let me grab one and grab a stack now. It's not because of the fact that we're not going to. The words of the grace cabin. Die woorde van jou genade draad should never be taken like this. Moet nooit lichtelijk opgenomen. But those are words van dit is woorde that produce destiny wat toekomst bestemming produceer. Ze neem jou nou een dimensie wat die natuur kan doen. Wat die natuurlijke niet kan doen. Maar dat kan bekeile dat die 
was able to stick with the words of the grace carrier. And so his sight was different. And his mind and thinking was different. So To that of the rest of the folk. Let me just say this again. The word of your grace carrier never be taken lightly. Because we said he speaks through the word of God. And God speaks through his servant. Who become a grace carrier to you. Not because you are not a child. But the level of maturity will determine what God can speak to you. And will explain to you. So nothing can stop it. So that's kind of stop me. So the problem is this. So the problem is that the problem is that when when in, in our lives, the problem begins in our lives. When our words, when your own words can't match, we will understand God's word. Meet God's word. And don't forget, Pastor. And we will hear the words word can match what God's words. Then our actions will not reflect God's mandate. If we stop at it is better for people to understand. This leader means that we understand. That too much information. The problem begins in child of God's life. The problem begins in the life of the kind of God. When his words does not match God's utterance over his life or her life. It was what then happened is this. The moment the, your words can't match it, the moment as your words are not your actions so your will not reflect God's mandate. 
Commandant Rico Pierre. Why? Why? Because words produce action. Woorden, acties produceren. Woorden, produce action. Produceren actie. So if your word cannot tally with God's word. So als je woorden niet kan overeenstemmen met God's woord. Your actions. So your actions. Can't be God's actions. Wat niet? God's actions weer. Oh, I think that, and yeah. But first of all, look at Joshua chapter 14. Speak by Joshua, was the fear thing. And verse 26. There are six and twenty. Let me start to another verse. It was before 14. Okay, oh, sorry. Joshua chapter. Read, read verse 14. Verse 14. So Hebron mm -hmm. has belonged to Caleb, mm -hmm. son of Jephunneh. Mm -hmm. The Kizanite mm -hmm. ever since. Mm -hmm. Because he followed the Lord. He, he what? He, he what? He followed your actions. Your actions. Can it never be God's actions. Can we God's actions be? Until you stick to the upfront. So let you blame by the extra. I'm just going to make a stand on this one. There are people. That is means uh, that what does it God in actions? But God and actions will see. But it is his word that produces actions. But say good, but say actions produce. So, so yeah. it is the following word. So that is the following of his word. The following of his word. The following of his word. That produce the actions. But the actions produce. So the actions produce. So the actions will produce. But a person. Wanneer een persoon decide to follow the word, besluit om die woord te volgen. Because he followed the law, mm -hmm. the God of Israel, mm -hmm. wholeheartedly. Whole what? Heartedly. So it's not passion. So this is not just the thing. I believe that God can lie. I know that God can lie. Whatever He spoke over my life, but God can speak over my life. I will hold it. I shall not pass. Stick to it. Down by blade. Speak it again. The dear spirit. And again. And dear. Over my life. Over my life. It will not produce the actions. It shall not be actions not for me. That look like what God is doing. But like so. That what God do. Words. The word done. Produce action. Produce your action. So the problem is this. So the problem is that. Until my. So I stick to his word. So that it blame by say word. I can't have its actions. Can it be say actions maybe. That look like the word. But like just the word name. Yeah, but it wasn't. Yes, yes. So something is is important. So this belong to us. That the child of God. That he can't control. Hold the gospel. Also on God's word. And that's what Caleb did. And that's what Caleb was doing. He said, we are proud of Abel. I said, I'm just unstuck. We are proud of Abel. I'm just by unstuck. Why all those are saying, we can't do it. And well, I'm just saying, we can't do it. No, we are proud of Abel. Okay, I'm just bad. God's word. God's word. Produces God's actions. Producer God's actions. Wherever you are tonight. Where you are tonight. I want you to hold God's words. I want you to hold God's words. And if you want the right actions. I want you to hold God's words. That produces results. But it's not the producer. The follower. The follower than the word. If you want the actions, as you did for him, that tells the devil. But for the devil said, "Don't belong to him." Yeah, you know what he means. Then hold to God's word. Then hold it fast. I'm speaking to people tonight. I don't know what you are tonight. I don't know what you are tonight. But every action. Maar elke actie. There's a word attached to every action. Daar is een woord gekoppeld aan elke actie. Let's move to point number two. Kom ons vanaf punt nummer twee. Even God. Zelfs God. Help you. Kan je helpen? When your word. Wanneer je woord. Look like His word. Become His word. So say word in say word God. When. Wanneer jouw woord. Become. His word. Say word word. Because what the devil fears. When he when the devil fears. It's not your word. It's me your word. He fears his word. I fears say word. So when your word. But so when he. Say word word. The devil has no power. Then he the devil he. I listen again. Come and say the beer. What is God's help? 
Wat is Gods hulp? His help begins. Sy hulp begin. When your word. Wanneer jou woord. Becomes his word. Sy woord. Then the devil has no place to hide. Dan het die duivel geen plek om weg te steek nie. Because the devil does not fear your word. Want die duivel is nie bang vir jou woord nie. He fears his word. Hy is bang vir sy woord. He knows the his word and say what can I say please James let's get now your corpus James 3 verse 3 to 10 your corpus 3 final verse 3 I want to speak to someone's point tonight the situation is going to linger the situation is also blind as you begin to speak your word continuously so long as wat jy ano om jou eie woord te spreek. As long as you're going to speak your own word. So long as wat jy jou eie woord gaan spreek. The stop is going to remain. Dan gaan alles so bly. The sickness will remain. Die siekte sal bly. Because it can't bow to your word. Want it can nie buig oor jou woord nie. It only bows to one word. Dit buig net oor een woord. It bows to the word of God. Dit buig oor die woord van God. So he said in Joshua. Let this word so you say, Joshua, not, really word. not depart from your mouth. Me, your mouth not not your word. Me, your word. Me. This book. Really book. <laughs> this book. Really book. Okay, Pastor read James 3, verse 3 to, to 10. <laughs> when we put bits into the mouths of horses. Now, what was the what's the, uh, the 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 example that God's about to give you. I think that the word will be God will give you. I think I'll even stop here tonight. I think I'll make you stop for now. Pura basanja la bahadu sir. What, what, how powerful God is about to describe the potency of the word. I think you can have the craft of the word to describe. I'll be right here. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us. To make them, so what makes them to obey? The bits. The bits. The bits in their mouth. The bits in their mouth. The male part of the mouth. Is what produces the obedience. That's what it is. The words are my brother. The bits in their mouth helps them to obey you. The male part in the other mouth helps. So as long as that bit is in the mouth, so as long as my mail bite in the mouth, you have control over it. No matter how strong it is, mark is not too sterk or ugly. As long as that bit is there, so long as we don't be mail bite, you can use that strength to your advantage. Can you have craft to your poor deal for the price? But outside that bit, but so that that mail bite, yeah, you don't have power over it. Do you picture something tonight? Yes, yes, I thought so. I see. As long as the bit is there, so long as the male one down, no matter how strong the horse is, mark the stuff to step down the path as me. You can cheaply ride it. You can mark it down upright. Is the right mark it and control it to the left, to the right, and then the year from the left at will. Hold your bow. But outside of that bit, mark so that down the male one. You are you are at the mercy of the house. As you and the genade van daar in ver. See the picture tonight. Think of the thing. Because in your mouth. As the word in your mouth. Amalia, the crook of the head here. See the see the picture. I'm trying to paint the picture. I probeer om die prent te skeer. I want to see him in my in my mind tonight. Ik wil vanaf de nee gedaan te zien. Let me see now. A type. The bit is a type. Kom ons sê nou, die meilband is a type. Ok, let me read this part to you. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. So we can turn the whole animal to our advantage because of a bit. As we both want to be back. I feel that. I feel something. Woo! Shut up. I don't know what is going through your spirit right there. I don't know what now down there your face is going to be. But no situation. But no situation. Is able to kill you. 
es een staat om je boot te maak. Maar je lack understanding in the word. Ten sy jy nie begrip het van die woord. Now we are about to also talk about we leave the pit of the house now. Ons ons nou die bad van die die berg. We are going to the ship. Ons gaan nou na die skeep. No matter how large this ship is. Mag jy sê hoe groot die skeep is. It is controlled by a little They are seen by a vision. I prophesied. I prophesied. You are about to get into a revelation. Yes, we find on an open bar and enter. That is about to turn your life. But we find this on your level to drive to a level. Don't open flat. Then you begin to speak with your mouth. Waar jy sal begin praat met jou mond. Relevant things open your life. Relevant dinge oor jou lewe. You have been staring your life. Jy het jou lewe gesteer. Sorry. I want to say this to you, but I can read that. They are steered by a very small rudder. Wherever the pilot wants to go. So no matter how large the ship is. Maak jy sal hoe groot die ship is. It's immaterial. It maak jy sal. It's a little thing. If you want this ship to go left, as you may be scared, you must turn it there. And no matter how fast the wind is, it overcomes the wind. It overcomes the wind. So is what? So is the wind. Likewise, likewise, in the same way, in the same manner, the tongue, the tongue, is a small part of the body. But yet, but but it makes. The key now is what is your mouth speaking? The question now is what say your mouth? That's why you lack the word. This one, as you need the word, get me. You start to press yourself. Then begin you yourself to prove. You don't know what to say about yourself. You get me what on for yourself to say. Starting your life. So you how on on your life the right? Because it is a principle. Want dit is een beginsel. No matter how strong the wind is. Maak nie snap hoe sterk die wind is. If you turn it there. As jy dit daar kan toe. It's going there. Dan gaan dit so. No matter what you lay. Maak nie snap waar die wind is. If you're going to change your life. As jy jou lewe kan verander. You have got to learn how to use your mouth. Dan moet jy leer hoe om jou mond te gebruik. You've got to learn how to use your mouth. Where about it? Consider what a great forest. Set on fire. A word from your mouth. A word that you know. Can devour a forest. Can a a boss. And a word from your mouth. And a word that you know. Can resurrect a dead. Can you to come to stay on you? A word. A word. A same mouth. That is sound the mouth. Can set a forest on fire. Can a boat and it brands you. The same mouth. That is sound the mouth. It is rightly used. As a rare bright word. It can talk. So a word of power. I pray for you tonight. That will bring me a destiny in me. I pray for you tonight. You will begin to call those things that be and not. In your life. And speak as the Lord wants you to speak. Now I understand. Why the Bible then says in Joshua one eight? Why the Bible says in Joshua one eight that this book, that very book, must control the speaking. Must your speak be yes. This book, very book, must guide your speaking. Must your speak right now. This book, very book, must come up your tongue. Must your tongue pass on. This book, very book, must control your speaking. Moet jou vermoe van praat beheer. Read by saying, maybe it's all up close to you. The tongue also is a fire. Yes. See the body. Skype me the body. The tongue is a fire. The tongue is a fire. If you know how to use it. As you need to use it. That's what God is saying. That's what God is saying. Train your mouth. Leer jou tongue. In the word. In the word. Train your mouth. Open. This book. Here it is. Should not be part in your mouth. Me, your mouth. Because by so doing, you will find good success. Sorry, good success.
a world of evil among the past body mm -hmm. it corrupts us. yes since the whole cause of his life on fire mm -hmm. and he is itself on fire let me say this to them about the form can we say this to them how to explain let me encourage someone in in the end Begin to change your words. Begin on your words to change. And the more you decide to change your words, in the ongeluk as you decide on your words to change, you will begin to have the life that you are looking for. So you begin on the life that you are looking for. Change your words. Change your words. And change your words. Change your words. And change your words. Change your words. Verander jou woorde en jou woord. En verander jou werk. Ja, dat maakt dat je het allemaal pray for somebody to know. Change your words. Verander jou woorde. En change your word. En verander jou werk. This is how it works. This is how it works. The reason God wants us to submit to the word. The reden waarom God wil jy ons moet onderwerp aan die woord. Is submission to the word. Is onderwerping aan die woord. It is a submission to the Holy Spirit. Is onderwerping aan die Heilige Gees. Ah, ons stap dit in die moest. Kan ons stap dit nie doen. A submission to the word, right? Onderwerping aan die woord. It is a submission to the Holy Spirit. Is onderwerping aan die Heilige Gees. When you submit your mouth to the word. As jy jou mond onderwerp aan die woord. You are you are submitting your life. To the Holy Spirit. On your word, you will be able to love. I cannot stop it tonight. I cannot stop it tonight. Yes, I cannot stop it tonight. I cannot stop it tonight. What did he say to me, brother? What did he say to me? It is time for people to understand. The same thing is to understand. That change your word. Change your word. And change your word. And change your word. Let's see if you can do that tonight. Kom ons kyk wie jy kan doen vanavond. By learning how to speak. Wie jy te leer hoe om te praat. You have got to train yourself again. Jy moet jyself weer leer. How to speak. Hoe om te praat. Because everything you say. Man, everything that you say. Is taking root over your life. Neem wortel in jou leven. So teach yourself again. So leer jyself weer. I refuse. Ek weier. To speak this kind of life. Om hierdie soort taal te praat. Because this language is not added to me. Maar hierdie taal voeg niks by my. It's extracting from me. Dit neem net weg van my aan. So I'd rather correct it now. So ek sal dit liever nou rechtstel. Or as my destiny. Of anders sal my toekomst bestem. Can be ruined. Geverboes word. Change your word. Verander jou woord. And change your word. En... This message that the level of the word of God that you get from the Bible mm -hmm. through your grace can you mm -hmm. if you hold on to it and if you speak it continuously, mm -hmm. you take control of your tongue. Yes. Take control of your mouth. Mm. You take control of what you speak. Mm. Speak the word of God. Mm. That's it. The more you speak, the more your life becomes That's it. the word. Mm. So, the word of God can then be reflected mm. in your life. You will then live the life that the word says about you. So, when I change, my words. So as ek my woorde verander, I change my word. Dan verander my word. Nee, 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 sorry, nee. I change my words. Ek verander my woorde. I change my word. En ek verander my word. I think let's pray for our listener to the pastor. Kom ons bid vond sy luisteraar vandaan. Where are you at tonight? Waar moet al jy is vandaan? You have the ability to change your word om jou woord te verander by changing your words dier jou woord te verander speak rightly over you praat reg oor jouself speak rightly over whatever that belongs to you spreek die rechte ding oor dit te hoor speak it with confidence praat dit met vertrouwe and the God of all grace 
en die God van alle genade word ek in die woord sal sy woord uitvoer as we about to leave tonight so ons op die punt is om te gaan I stretch my hands strek ek my hande to the camera tonight na die camera vanaan wherever tonight waar ook al jy is vanaan I speak the ability over your life ek spreek die vermoë oor jou lewe that you begin to speak the right words dat jy sal begin om die regte woorde te spreek that will begin to create your world wat sal begin om jou wereld te skep. In the name of Jesus. In die naam van Jesus. Receive. Ontvang daar die genade. Receive that ability. Ontvang daar die genoe. In the name of Jesus. In die naam van Jesus. We love you. We love you tonight. Ons is lief vir julle vanavond. And we have to leave you now. En ons is nou verlaat. But remember. Maar trouw. Send us your prayer request. Stier vir ons jou gebed versoeke. And we are going to pray for you. En ons sal vir jou bid. Use the detail as a Gebruik die informatie wat op jou skerm verskyn vanavond. En ons sal vir jou bid. Maak nie saak wat die deel van die wereld is nie. Stier vir ons jou gebed soeke. En ons sal vinnig reageer daar. Ons is lief vir jou. En shalom. En shalom. Shalom aan jou. En shalom aan jou.